Mexican restaurant failed its health inspection last month, and that was the second time in as many months. Yeah, the night team's Dim Gerber stopped by this week to ask questions about their problems behind the kitchen door. Mexican restaurant located in the 3700 block of Nogalito Street failed their November inspection with a low score of 60. This after failing another inspection back in September. They got a 64 on that one. This time around, they racked up 21 health code violations. They were improperly cooling foods. The inside of the ice machine needed to be cleaned and sanitized to remove a buildup and the dishwashing machine wasn't sanitizing the dishes. A worker was cutting onions with bare hands. Another employee dropped a thermometer on the floor, picked it up, wiped it off with a paper towel, and was about to use it on some food before the inspector stepped in and stopped them. I stopped by this week to see why they failed two inspections in a row, but was told there was no manager available to speak to me at that time. I also noticed the business hadn't posted the inspection report which they were also cited for. Tienda Centro America, located in the 3900 block of San Pedro, earned a 76 on their inspection last month. They were selling food that was improperly labeled. Knives were stored with food debris on them. They were told to check for pest activity and they were storing food in non-food grade containers, including plastic shoe boxes and t-shirt bags. The business also had its license suspended due to a clogged grease trap. They were told to clear the drain and do a deep cleaning to remove sewage debris. I dropped by this week to see just how long they were shut down. A manager refused to go on camera but said they were only closed about an hour. A reinspection was required to reopen. Mary Chula Mexican Food, located in the 5,000 block of West Commerce, earned a 76 on their recent inspection. They had to throw out raw meat that was being kept in a cold unit that was too warm. They also tossed out black moldy produce that had a foul stench. The dishwasher wasn't cleaning dishes properly. The business also cited for using unapproved chemicals for pest control, including a tracking powder that they were instructed should never be used in the kitchen. Meanwhile, a few roaches were also found there in the kitchen. The business was in need of a thorough cleaning. They were also told to not feed the birds in the back of the business and to not allow miners in the kitchen when the business is open. A reinspection was ordered. For Behind the Kitchen Door, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.